friends today in this video we will learn how to work with uv id uv id means unique identifier number and this number is uniquely identify a partition so in this video we will learn how to check the uv id number and how you can mount a partition using the uv id and what is the advantages of this method so let's start this video before starting the video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment so that I will be motivated to create this type of uh, interesting videos and this will be helpful for you. So let's start the video. So, uh, so command to check the UEID of the partitions, we have to use the command plus BLK. You can see, sorry, this is uh, using LS BLK, we can check all the partitions and hard disk present in this uh, server. You can see this is SDA and this is the partition SDA1 and there are also the some other partitions available here. So to check the UID number, we have to use the command lsblk minus F. You can see all UID number showing here. So let's understand what is UID. Let's say this is a uh, town A and this is a town B. So whenever we give some name, and whenever we are join these two uh, towns or cities with a NH, at the time we have given two names. One is uh, like NH123 and another is AB, street, mark or any uh, any name. So this is why we give two names. Because uh, the street name or the uh, NH name with the name of the towns will be easy to first to communicate, uh, communicate. But whenever we are... Uh, using the names in documentation or anything, we have to use the uh, number NH123 or that is like. Because uh, this name may be changed, name A or B, then that name, name may be changed according to our requirement or according to our convenience. But the NH123, there is no concern to change the, this number. So in documentation, we will be use the NH123 and for the communication or uh, to speak with each other, we have we can use the name ab mark or street or anything so that is the advantages so we don't have to change in documentation whenever we are changing the town names or the city names so that's why we created some uh, some uh, name which is constant uh, in any uh, circumstances or any requirements but the name may be changed likewise whenever we creating a partition at that time after creating a partition the UID id will be available to that uh, partition or that uh, uid will be uh, allocate to a partition and each uid different for the any other partitions no one's uid is same with any other partition so using uid we can mount a partition permanently and uh, that uh, that will work because uh, UID is the unique identifier number for a, a specific partition. Okay. So now, if you want to know how to create a partition hand and how to check the hard disk related information, you can go to my playlist and I will also give the video link in this uh, i button so that uh, go to that video and uh, check how to uh, check with check the partition and how to create a partition and how to uh, mount a partition uh, using the name you can uh, check that video so that it will be helpful to understand this video also so let's move now using the uid how we will mount a partition first of all we have to create a destination directory to which we have to mount the sda partition here you can see sda and sda1 uh, sda is the hard disk and sd one is the partition now we will uh, mount the sda1 partition using the uid in this server so uh, first we have created the destination server because you know that the mount command will work uh, using the command then source then destination okay so source is the uh, this is the source sd or uh, uid this is the source and destination directory we have to create on which we will mount the uid number so now create the destination using mkdir command I have created a BKB directory in slash. Now we will mount the BKP uh, SDA partition using the UID over BKP. So for that we have to uh, open the FHTAP configuration using VI. Uh, 
Now make an entry here. First we have to press the uh, write the UID number, then the destination directory that is uh, BKP, and the partition is in XFS format. XFS, and then uh, defaults. then 0 and 0 so now save the configuration file and check if my entry is working properly or not using the mount hyphen a command you can see bkp special device does not exist that means let's check the um, partition format partition format is in uh, file type file system type is in xfs so uh, now again check the the first of entry Here, uh, here we have to write the UUID is equal to so that then only it will uh, work. So add the UUID equal to now save the configuration. Now check. You can see mount uh, step entry is now correct. So check the partition mounted or not using the df hyphen h command. You can see bkp is mounted on the sda1 so this is the way using the uid we can uh, mount a partition permanently in a first entry so if our first entry is wrong and we forget to check with the mount happen a command and we rebooted the server the server will not boot properly so please remember after giving any entry or uh, making any entry in a first configuration file use the mount happen a command to check that entry so if you will not check and if you will reboot the server, the server will uh, not boot properly and it will give the control D error. So in that situation, what you have to do, I have also already posted, a, already uploaded a video in my channel. Please go to the channel and also check that. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you.